You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to... <laughs> feel like I'm running for presidency. All right. <laughs> Welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob Washington. Yes, yes, we made it. Rick, we made it. No, not quite yet. Uh, but actually, yeah, we are going to talk some Walking Dead. We're going to talk some spinoffs. So as you guys know, um, you know, I was going to upload this video uh, a little bit, a couple of days ago when I first heard the news. But I know I want to stay on my schedule. Walking Dead Mondays, you know. So this is these videos are for Mondays to to fill that slot where my preview video would normally go for the season. So here we go. So the spinoff, we have characters. So we just heard a couple of weeks ago that the pilot had been ordered. So now we have the characters listed and this is all subject to change. And I know you guys have all probably read it by now. Uh, obviously, two, I would say four of the characters are like family members. There's two, two different families. And then there's another Andrea, another Andrea. How exciting is that? <laughs> Maybe it'll be the Andrea we all wanted, but we didn't deserve at the time. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So, anyway, but, yeah, this is exciting because we know the show is coming next year. Uh, we know it's not going to take place in Atlanta. I did, did I know there were some uh, viewers before who mentioned that. I did read it on a recent article, so that's good. So, now we know it will not be taking place in Georgia. But, um, but Robert Kirkman does say that there's an opportunity. He sees an opportunity for these characters to... To kind of cross paths with some of the other characters in the in the current show, and who knows? Uh, that that's still a possibility. Maybe it's not in Georgia, but maybe it's somewhere like you know close. You know, maybe it's the next state over. And um, you know, remember it's people like Dale driving a Winnebago, traveling cross country, maybe he runs into these characters. But um, the other cool thing is that the show is going to be pre-apocalyptic zombie, which is cool because that's something I said in my last uh, last video where I was talking about the uh, spinoff that I would love to see happen is the show take place before the zombie apocalypse. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to find out what happens, because as you know, in the CDC episode of The Walking Dead, season one, um, even, uh, uh, I think his name was Jenner, even he said that they never really found out how it started. He said that he had an, that he thinks the French, or that the French think they figured it out, but they never got confirmation of that. So... I don't think we're going to see an early answer or we might see an early hint at what might have caused it, but we're not going to get anything concrete. So, but it'll still be cool to see the zombie apocalypse start rather than see it currently already in its month in. Basically, I think it was when Rick was in the hospital when he got up, I think it had been a month already had passed by and, um, or maybe a couple of weeks and I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. I'm going to have to go back and watch that. But it was, it was a good ways in when he got up. There were already corpses all over the place. The town was pretty much evacuated. There were zombies all over the place. Uh, you know, he was lucky enough to run into Morgan and his son. But now we're going to see how it starts. And, and or at least in the early stages, which I think is going to be great. It's going to give a whole different perspective. And I think that's something they'll, they'll, they'll linger on for a while. I don't think you'll see this show... And I'm guessing that the first season is going to be like seven or eight episodes. I don't think you're going to see the show go from the beginning portions of the apocalypse all the way up to like, okay, we're in survival mode. I really think you're going to see the early stages. And I think it's going to be like all of season one, maybe part of season two, and then slowly go into survival mode. Um, because I don't think they, they're going to want to go to that right away. Because then what really signifies a difference between the two shows at that point you know we already have rick and his crew in survival mode they're already you know have gone to a tons of shit uh, many different locations where they've been so if this show rushes into doing that um i think it'll be counterproductive you know it'll be like all right we have two shows that are basically the same thing so i think this one we're gonna see a slow growth into survival mode i don't think we're gonna see it by season two or season three, I'm guessing we'll see them first hit survival mode like season four, or season five. That's just a guess, though. We don't really know, but I'm very excited for it. The best thing about it is that we're getting another Walking Dead show right after the Walking Dead season five. So that's going to be fucking awesome. The only thing that's going to be a problem is I love Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I do. It's going to be a, Sundays are going to be rough. I'm going to have to start taking Mondays off from work. 
<laughs> I'm serious, man. Um, I, I, I can't lie. I will probably, depending on when they show the show, and I'm guessing they're going to keep it on Sundays at 9, I'll probably watch Game of Thrones first and then watch the encore version of the new Walking Dead show. Um, I'm still going to review it, of course. Both my reviews will come Sunday nights. So I'll probably be uploading those reviews like at 12 midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. But otherwise, I'm excited for the show. It's good to see that they're, they're giving some information. Um, in case you guys don't know the names, I'll pull them up real quick. Why not? Because I really didn't mention it. But basically, the characters are... Sean Cabrera, uh, a Latino male in his early 40s. Sean is a good man trying to do right by everyone in his life. Cody Cabrera, Sean's, uh, excuse me here, Sean's whip smart and rebellious teenage son, known as the angriest kid in town. So it sounds like a bully, maybe. Then there's Nancy Tompkins, a 30 something single mom uh, to two kids. Nancy looks like the girl next door, but there are there's an edge to her. Okay. Nick Tompkins, Nancy's screwed up teenage son. He's too old to stay home, too scared to uh, too scared to flee. Ashley Tompkins, Nancy's uh, mostly level-headed teenage daughter, mostly level-headed. Her ambition is in direct proportion to her, excuse me. Yes. In direct proportion to her older brother's failures, she loves her mom, but it's time to get out of the Dodge. And finally, Andrea Chapman, the new Andrea, Andrea 2.0. A somewhat whittled f- flower child, 40-something Andrea, yep, another Andrea, <laughs> has, <laughs> I love the way they threw that in there. Andrea has retreated to the outskirts of the city to recover after a horrible marriage. So... Uh, and again, these these characters can change. The names can change. Uh, the, their little character profiles can change. So who knows? What I find interesting here is um, I know a lot of people have been talking about wanting like the Walking Dead game series to kind of have its own show and its own life. Uh, you know, there was family in there. There was a lot of family based characters in there. Um, so you know, it could be that they're getting an inspiration from that. Uh, but we don't know. It's too early to tell. I think the interesting thing will, will, is who's going to be cast. And we should be finding that out soon. If they're going to release this show uh, next year, uh, I'm guessing sometime in the late spring, early summer, uh, I would imagine they'd have to start casting and filming now. And maybe they are. Maybe we just don't know who these people are. They're probably like halfway through filming right now. We don't even know. So because everybody's so focused on The Walking Dead that the spinoff has just kind of been flying under the radar, which is awesome. So, but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. So how do you feel about some of the news we've been getting lately on the new Walking Dead show? Uh, Comment on the bottom. Let us know how you feel. I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. I love The Walking Dead, so I'm looking forward to the spinoff show. Hoping it has a lot of success. We'll see how it goes. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.